So I've always been quite pessimistic about one-stop solutions, you know, and people that come up with these magic potions. And we speak to a lot of fisheries that, that get approached by sort of salesmen trying to sell a product. And so I've always been quite pessimistic about these, uh, you know, ingredients or additives or sort of one-stop solutions that are going to solve all your problems. Instead, we'd always advise fisheries to stick to uh, the fundamental livestock management practices of feeding and, and stock management, and you can't go too far wrong. Obviously, there's lots of things that we cover in lots of our videos around stock management to, to really sort of exploit the full potential of your fisheries. But this one ingredient, I just couldn't ignore anymore. And, and a few years ago, I started to dig into the science and the research behind it. And it was actually quite eye-opening just how significant these, uh, this research was in other livestock practices as well. So I thought it was worth digging a little bit deeper and, and producing something that would, was going to have the same effect as, as what all this research I was reading, which is when we came up with Naturopel. And a lot of you have tried Naturopel now, and the feedback has been absolutely insane. All the, all the feedback on, online in the review section are five stars. We've got nothing below five star. Um, and all the feedback has been absolutely in incredible. And uh, if you've used it, you'll know just how effective it is. And in this video, I'm going to dive into why it's so good and why we've developed it the way we have and how it works. So pay attention. And if you haven't used it, give it a go. Watch to the end because it really is uh, quite eye opening. Naturopel is an oil blend for coating pelleted fish feeds. It naturally stimulates fish appetite and repels common external skin parasites. The garlic oil used in Naturopel is naturally rich in allicin. It's the sulfur containing compounds from allicin that are responsible for repelling external skin parasites by permeating into the mucous membranes of the fish which these external lice cannot tolerate. When exploring the idea of developing a garlic product for fish, the challenges of developing an effective solution became apparent immediately, mainly because all the important garlic enzymes are inactivated when exposed to heat. For this reason, we couldn't simply add garlic to the premix formulation because heat generated in the conditioning and pelleting process would destroy the illicit compounds, which are the crucial repelling properties we need. Instead, we would need to create an additive to treat to finished feeds. The next challenge came through discovering that the important sulfur compounds are very volatile, meaning that they easily evaporate under normal air temperatures once the garlic tissues are damaged. So the product would need to be supplied in airtight containers and applied to feeds prior to feeding to limit the atmospheric loss of these vital parasite repelling compounds. With these hurdles to cross, we came up with an additive that gets around all of these issues, an oil blend which is absorbed by cooled feeds to protect the allicin and the integrity of its repelling powers. Bottling this liquid in airtight containers prevents the volatile sulfur compounds from dispersing and losing their potency. The finished product is an oil blend, formulated from natural extracts with natural repelling properties. These natural repelling properties gave birth to the name Nat Repel. Nat Repel. High oil pellets don't take on oils as well as low oil pellets like ours, because most high oil aquafeed diets are put through a vacuum coating vessel. This process mixes the pellets with oil before creating a vacuum inside the vessel which forces the pellets to draw in more oil than they naturally would. Therefore, pellets that are saturated to such a high level of fat are not going to absorb a surface coating of Naturopel as effectively, leaving the Naturopel to wash off the pellets on contact with the water. For this reason, we recommend a surface dressing of Naturopel only on pellets lower than 10% fat, leaving the pellets to absorb the oil overnight. I'm often asked why we don't pre-treat our feeds with Naturopel to save the customer the faff of coating each ration themselves. As previously suggested, the volatility of allicin means that the sulfur compounds evaporate, therefore the repelling properties of the garlic become less potent over time. For this reason, you should apply Naturopel to your feed ration fresh each day to get the most benefit from the natural powers of garlic, although you want to allow the pellets at least 6 hours to absorb the oil. For the best parasite repelling results, you should feed within 24 hours of Naturopel application. Naturopel is most effective in the warmer months, particularly in the spring, to stimulate feeding and fuel the fish's natural defences as the time of year when bacteria are beginning to multiply fast. The eggs of fish lice that lay dormant all winter will begin to hatch above 12 degrees water temperature, so the repelling properties of Naturopel will really curb the parasitic loading of the external skin parasites at a time of year where the lice numbers are multiplying rapidly. Failing to control lice numbers in the spring will cause irritation and stress to the fish, which could delay the start of the growing season and therefore lead to complications on the approach to spawning. So what's the parasite that we're trying to repel? Argulus, otherwise known as fish lice, are present in most if not all fisheries. 
They're small, transparent, jelly-like crustacean parasites that use suction pads to crawl all over the skin of the fish, feeding off their mucus and their skin. These lice reach sexual maturity within 50 days, at which point they can lay up to 500 eggs, which will hatch within two to four weeks during the summer. These eggs are very resilient. They can survive a winter without hatching, waiting until the spring to finally hatch. These lice can only survive a week or two without a host, which provides great opportunity for us to break the cycle. Fish are mostly unaffected by them if numbers are controlled, and it's normal to find half a dozen or so on a large carp, which can live a healthy, normal life like that. Although lice numbers can multiply rapidly, and I'd say we see a noticeable deterioration in the stock condition when numbers approach 50 or so on a single fish. It's the fish's natural response to this irritation that causes a downward spiral in condition. In a small 500ml bottle, which is mainly for anglers, we do a 5 litre jerry can, which you can see behind me, and a 20 litre jerry can. So, a 5 litre jer uh, jerry can will do 250 kilos if you use it at a suggested rate of 20 mil per kilo, that'll do a quarter of a ton. Um, and the 20 litre jerry can will do a ton. Every single 5 litre and 20 litre jerry can of Natch Power will come with its own swan neck pump. So this will help you to dispense the Natch Power onto your pellets without any spillages. So every single compression of the swan neck pump will dispense 30 mil of Natch Power approximately. So 30 mil of Natch Power will coat a kilo of pellets and that will lift the fat content up by 3%. So you really want to be feeding, uh, applying Natch Power to low oil feed pellets. So like our standard cereal supplement pellet is 3% oil naturally. So if you added uh, one compression of Natropel, 30 mil, onto a kilo of pellets that will lift that fat content of that kilo of pellets up to 6%. If you used our BP Gold, that's 6% fat, 36% protein. If you had a kilo of the BP Gold in a bucket, one compression of Natropel, that would lift that content up to 9%. Obviously, you want to let those pellets absorb the, the oil overnight, ideally. And uh, yeah, that will send them a little bit of a darker colour, give them a good garlic characteristic, real sort of strong garlic smell and uh, that will lift that oil content up to 9%. So if you can continue to use natural power through the winter, it will continue to repel parasites, although fish's metabolism is going to be reduced. They're going to be less mobile, so they're going to be an easier target for lice anyway. And the lice aren't really multiplying through the winter. They'll wait until the, the spring, until water temperatures get above 12 degrees for the eggs to hatch, and those juvenile lice will start to look for a host in the spring. So the spring and summer is obviously the best time to use it. The, fish, uh, the digestion efficiency of fish is going to start to improve, so they're going to be able to start to draw more energy off that lipid source of the fats. So there's, there is a nutritional value to Natropel as well, being a, a good source of uh, essential fatty acids that can be utilised by the fish, but less so in the winter, obviously. So it is more beneficial through the summer. I would say from the spring through to autumn is a good time to feed Natropel. <laughs> And it's important to say you don't have to be feeding our pellets to get the benefits of natural power. Obviously, any pellets will take on natural power. Any, in fact, any feed will take on natural power as long as it's below sort of a low oil content of say 10% or less. It's going to be able to draw in more oil and, and uh, lift that fat, fat content up. Any feed manufacturer's pellets, low oil, will take on the natural power very, very well. This is lit. But I'd say if you're noticing maybe 50 individual lice on one fish, then that's quite a heavy loading of external parasites. So I suggest feeding every single uh, supplementary feed, every single ration with natural power for a few weeks until you start to see those numbers reduce and then those paras the parasitic load on individual fish. When that starts to drop back to maybe, maybe you're only noticing a dozen or half a dozen, you just treat one ration per week or you know, maybe every other week use one ration treated with natural power and that will just keep those numbers controlled and stop any uh, juvenile lice from hatching and latching onto a, a fish and starting to multiply again. For cost efficiency, I'd say once you're on top of lice numbers, you could start to use natural power just once a week to keep those lice numbers at bay and keep them under control.